the cake. The quarantine cake got me. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. How are you guys doing? Myself? Doing pretty good, but there has been a little bit of struggle this last week. For the first time since this quarantine, I had a week where I struggled. I did have a couple of wins, so I was able to get in a lot of activity. I did jazzercise three times this last week, and yesterday I got 10,000 steps just working in my yard and putting together our new patio set, and today I'm going to be, again, working in my yard, washing windows, so I'll get quite a bit of activity in today, and I may go on a walk as well because we're supposed to be in the 70s. So the win is my activity, the win is the weather, but the cake, you guys. The cake during the quarantine got me this week. I struggled this week for the first time since this started. I struggled. I struggled with snacking. I was just a snacker all week, and I brought food into my house, aka cake, that I know I shouldn't bring into my house. I know this. I know that I shouldn't have foods that I overeat in my house. Thank goodness the cake is gone and I now no longer have any trigger foods or foods that I tend to overeat in my house, which is exactly what I know I should be doing, but it got me this last week. I ate a lot of cake. A lot. It was one of those small, round, individual cakes that you can buy at your local bakery. Over the course of the week, I ate the entire thing. Granted, it was small, but still, you guys, it had six servings at 300 calories per serving, and I couldn't even begin to tell you how many points. Now, this is not common for me because I have been eating really, really clean. I don't know what it was about this cake. The rest of my food this week was great. I ate all clean, whole food. I did probably eat more than I should of those clean foods, but it was the cake. The cake got me. Goodness gracious that cake. So now that it's gone, it's done and over with, I'm willing to take whatever the scale wants to tell me today. So I am going to go ahead and weigh in, log that in my WW app. I'm going to attend the virtual workshop and I'll be back to share in my weigh-in results eek, and the virtual workshop and what we talked about. So I will be back. Stay tuned, my friends. Hi friends. Welcome back. I just finished up at my virtual workshop it's so fun. I feel still really connected to my group because of Zoom and being able to see each other and, and interact. And I like the physical aspect of it where we can see each other and talk to each other. So it was a fantastic workshop. We talked about tracking and what we can do during this time to continue tracking and why tracking right now is so important. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what we discussed in our virtual workshop. They gave us some great tips and tricks when it comes to tracking and why, again, tracking is so important right now. And one of the main points that we stressed during the workshop was like our food and what we're eating, tracking is actually something we can control right now. With all of the unknowns and the things we can't control, we actually have tracking that we can control. We can control what we put in our mouth and we can control writing what we're eating down in our tracker. And not just our food, but our activity, our water, anything that you feel like if you write down and track, it's going to help you during this crazy time. Tracking also helps us stay on track gives us accountability and lets us see what we're eating. So whether it's on plan or not, if you track it, you have a visual of what you ate that day. So you can look back and take note of the things that maybe you want to eat in the future and maybe things you don't want to eat in the future like cake like cake. So writing it down gives us that accountability and allows us to see and use for future reference what we ate maybe one week that benefited us and what we ate that didn't benefit us. And I think even putting it in your tracker is such a huge amount of accountability if it's outside of your points. Putting it down on paper is rough or in your tracker, however you track your food, it's hard. It's hard to see us go over our points, but I think it's a big reality check for us as well. So I think it's really important to track the good, the bad, the ugly. Also right now we're stuck at home and we kind of have all the time in the world to be honest with you. So this is a good time to get in the habit of tracking. So take time every day to track your food. Sometimes I will track all my food first thing in the morning if I know what I'm eating that day. That helps me stay on track as well. Knowing that it's already in my tracker and that is what I'm eating today, period. 
point blank period that's what i'm eating today great to track it first thing in the morning for me sometimes and other times i'm just not sure what i'm going to eat that day or i may be out for a meal like i may have an errand to run and pick up some lunch or support a local business so those times i track as i go but honestly we don't have an excuse not to track right now we have all the time in the world to open up our tracker and write down or track our food for the day. So I think that starting that habit now, if you are someone that struggles with tracking, getting into the habit now while we're stuck at home is super important. It's just going to develop a habit that you'll be able to continue once life kind of goes back to normal. So another thing to track that isn't food related is our weight. So I think it's important to still weigh in on your home scale every single week before your workshop, pick the same day, the same same time in the same clothes or no clothes, whatever you prefer, and track your weight. Put it into your app or however you track it, just like you would if you were at your WW workshop. I know for me, if I don't have to weigh in at my workshop, I'm a little more lax during the week. And I don't know if it's a mental thing, but I don't have to step on the scale in front of someone or step on the scale at all. So I'm like, huh, hallelujah, I'll eat what I want all week. And that's not the mentality that we want to get ourselves into right now. So continuing to weigh on the same day at the same time is super important. Track it in your tracker. It's going to adjust your points as well. And you're going to be able to see a trend over this time stuck at home. And I think that that's really, really important. There's no reason that we shouldn't continue to weigh in just like normal if we were attending a workshop or if you are an online only member just like normal. Continue to weigh in and track your weight during this time. And lastly, maybe spend some time journaling. Again, all the time in the world, my friends. Every day, write down some things that you're proud of from the day before and some things that you wanna work on that day. And I think that writing those down, it's another form of tracking. Writing down our goods, our bads, our goals is another way to stay on track and continue to track those things. So just jotting down a couple words, sentences every morning on the things you did well and the things you want to work on is another great habit that we can get into while we're at home. So continuing to track our food, track our water, our activity, our weight, and spend some time in our journal every day is a great way to track our progress during this quarantine time. It's important for us to focus on the things we can control. And again, I think I say this every week, honestly, in my way in video is this is the one thing in our life we can control. And the one thing that can be consistent and constant for us is our food and our weight loss and our WW program. So it's no better time than now to really focus on our program. And I feel like I've done a really good job up until this week on my program. I feel like I've done a really good job staying on track. I've actually had a loss every single week throughout the quarantine. So it's doable. It's just whether or not that's where you put your focus and your energy. So of course, I know that not everything is smooth sailing for everyone and we all have to do what we have to do during this time. And again, if that means putting your program on the back burner, that means putting your program on the back burner. But again, control what you can control. Track your food, the good, the bad. Track track all the things during this time and it's just going to develop a solid habit for you when life goes back to normal. So that is what we talked about in our virtual workshop is tracking our progress and I enjoyed it. I think it's great and I think it was kind of eye-opening to me to say hey, of all times to get into some good habits, it's now. The tracking habit, the journaling habit, whatever it may be, this is a great time to get into and develop some new long-lasting habits. So I'm gonna take that with me this next week. And speaking of habits, I am getting back on track myself this week, you guys, and going back to the habit I've had this entire time of tracking my food, staying on track, eating whole, clean food because of the cake debacle. The cake debacle. <sighs> it's over. The cake's gone. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to move on. It's a beautiful day today. And I'm going to focus on a new set of weeklies and a new set of points because I gained 1.2 this week. This is the first gain I have had in weeks. And I think it's only the second gain I've had in the year of 2020 thus far. So I'm mad at myself that I let that cake, number one, enter my house, number two, enter my mouth, and that I continue to eat that cake throughout the week. So I deserve every 1.2 pounds. And to be completely honest with you, I thought it was going to be more. So 
I'm going to take it and I'm going to take it as a lesson learned and I'm going to get right back on track today. I already had a healthy eating all the time and go bar for breakfast. I brought a water and I have a banana and I'm going to go ahead and sip on my water and eat my breakfast while I continue to edit and upload this video and I am back on track today. So 1.2 up this week, darn cake, but I'm back. I want to hear how your guys' week went. How are you doing with tracking eating your points, staying on track, kind of developing these new habits throughout this time that will be beneficial for us in the long run. I want to hear how things are going for you. I've been thinking of you guys a lot. I've been really active in my Facebook group, just kind of seeing how you guys are doing. You're posting in there, what you're doing to stay on track, kind of your struggles during this time. And I'm. it's been nice for me to be able to be there for you guys because I know you guys are always here to support me. So make sure you leave down in the comments kind of how things are going for you guys and what me or any of the other people here on my YouTube channel can help you guys with. And also, what do you think about starting this new habit? I mean, actually taking this time to develop some new positive habits. I want to hear how your weigh-in went. Did you gain? Did you lose? I want to hear all the things down in the comments. Again, I'm thinking about you guys a lot. I'm here for you. If you have any questions, I know it's a really hard time, but I think if we really focus on the good things, we can come out at the end of the tunnel with some really good positive habits and even a little bit of weight loss. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. If you're new, welcome, head over, join my YouTube friends and family, subscribe, and if you hit that bell, you'll just be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I'd love a thumbs up if you love these weigh-in videos, and of course, all those comments down below and let me know how you guys are doing. Hang in there. I love you. We're in this together and we all have each other's backs. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow in my grocery haul. Bye, guys.